damn close. This is the same Athenian. This is the woman, but not this the man. Oh, I rebuke you, that loves you so. Like breath so bitter on your bitter foe. Now I but chide, but I should use thee worse. For thou, I fear, hast given me cause to curse. If thou hast slain Lysander in his sleep, being overshoes in blood, plunge in the deep and kill me too. The sun was not so true unto the day is he to me. Would he have stolen away from sleeping Hermia? I'll believe as soon this whole earth may be bored, and that the moon may through the center creep and so displease her brother's noontide with antipodes. It cannot be, but thou hast murdered him. So should a murderer look so dead, so grim. So should the murdered look, and so should I, pierced through the heart with your stern cruelty. <coughs> Yet you, their murderer, look as bright, as clear, <coughs> as yonder Venus in her glimmering sphere. What's this to my Lysander? Where is he? Ah, good Demetrius, wilt thou give him me? I'd rather give his carcass to my hounds. <laughs> out, dog! Out, cur! Thou drivest me past the bounds of main oh, patience! Oh. Hast thou slain him then? And for never not been among men. Oh, what's tell true? Tell true even for my sake. Dost thou have looked upon him being awake? And hast thou killed him sleeping? Oh, great touch! Could not a worm, an adder, do so much? An adder did it. For doubler tongued in thine, thou serpent, never adder stung. You spend your passion on a misprized mood. I am not guilty of Lysander's blood. Nor is he dead brought that I can tell. I pray thee, tell me then that he is well. And if I could, what should I get there for? A privilege. Never oh. to see me more. <laughs> and from thy hated presence part I so. See me no more, whether he be dead or no. <sighs> There is no following her in this fierce vein. Here, therefore, a while I will remain. <laughs> so sorrow's heaviness doth the heavier grow. For death that bankrupt sleep doth sorrow owe, which now in some measure obey. If forest tender, here I make some stay. What hast thou done? Thou hast mistaken quite. Wait, the love juice of some true love sight. Sometimes this prison must perforce ensue. Some true love turned and not a false turn true. And then they are rules. That one man holding troth, a million bail confounding oath on oath. About the wood goes swifter than the wind. And Helen of Athens looked out fine. All fancy sick she is and pale of cheer with sighs of love that cost the fresh blood dear. By some illusion, see thou find and bring her here. I'll charm his eyes again she do appear. I, I go, I go, look who I go. Swifter than the arrow from a tartar's bow. Flower of this purple dye, hit by Cupid's archery. Sink an apple of his eye. When his love he doth espy, let her shine as gloriously as the Venus of the sky. And when thou wakest, if she be by, beg of her for remedy. Captain of our fair band, Helena is here at hand, and the youth mistook by me, pleading for a lover's fee. Shall we there find pageancy? Lord, the fools these mortals be. <laughs> Stand aside, the noise they make will cause Demetrius to awake. Then will two at once woo one. That must needs be sport alone. For those things do best please me, and do befall preposterously. <laughs> Why should you think I should move in sport? <laughs> Look! When I vow, I weep. <laughs> in vow so born, in their nativity how truth appears. How can these things in me seem scorn to you? <laughs> Bearing the badge of faith to prove them true. You do advance your cunning more and more. 
When truth kills truth, oh, that is truly free. These vows are hurrying. Will you give her or? We oath with oath, and you will not be weighed. Your vows to her and me have been true scales. We'll even weigh and both as late as tails. I had no judgment under her, I swore. Or none in my mind, I would give her. Demetrius loves her, and he loves you not. Oh, Helena! Oh, Godness! Mem! Perfect! Divine! To what, my love, shall I compare thine eye? Oh, crystal is muddy! Oh, how ripe and show thy lips! Those kissing cherries tempting grow! That pure congealed white high tourist still! A fan with the eastern wind turns to a crow when thou holds up thy hand! Oh, let me kiss this princess of pure white! This seal of bliss! Oh, And your courtesy, you would not do me thus much injury. Can you not hate me as I know you do? But you must join in souls about me too. <laughs> if you were men as many are, you too, you would not use a gentle lady so. To bow and swear and super praise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your hearts. You both are rivals and love her me up. And now both rivals to mock Helena. A trim exploit. A manly enterprise to conjure up tears in a poor man's eyes with your derision. Oh. <laughs> None of noble sort would so offend a virgin and extort a poor soul's patience on a make you sport. Demetrius, you are unkind, be not so. For you love Hermia, this you know I know. And here, with all goodwill, with all my heart, in Hermia's love, I yield you up my part. And to yours a Helena, to me bequeath. Whom I do love, and will do to my death. <laughs> Never did mockers waste more idle breath. Lysander, keep thy Hermia. I will none. If e'er I loved her, all that love is gone. My love to her, but as guess why sojourn. And now to Helen is it home returned. Fair to remain. Helen, it is not so. The spirits of the faith thou dost not know. Lest to thy peril thou abide dear. Lysander! <laughs> Look, when that love comes, yonder is thy dear. Dark night that from the eye dysfunction takes 